in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit brethren let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries i confess to almighty god and to and you to my you brothers my and sisters, sisters that i have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and, and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin O the angels, angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God. by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the letter of st paul to corinthians My beloved ones, avoid idolatry. I am speaking as to sensible people. Judge for yourselves what I am saying. The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body. for we all partake of one loaf look at israel according to the flesh are not those who eat the sacrifices participants in the altar so what am i saying that meat sacrificed to idols is anything or that an idol is anything no i mean that what they sacrifice they sacrifice to demons not to god and i do not want you to become participants with demons you cannot drink the cup of the lord and also the cup of demons you cannot partake of the table of the lord and of the table of demons or are we provoking the lord to jealous anger are we stronger than him the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm to you lord I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, I will offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word. and my father will love him and we will come to him alleluia alleluia the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory to you o lord jesus said to his disciples no good tree bears bad fruits Nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit, for each tree is known by its own fruit. For figs are not gathered from thorns, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. A good man, 
out of all the good treasure of his art produces good and the evil man out of his evil treasure produces evil for out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks why do you call me lord lord and not do what i tell you everyone who comes to me and hears my words and does them i will show you what he is like he is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation upon the rock and when a flood arose the steam the stream broke against the house and could not shake it because it had been well built but he who hears and does not do them is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation against which the stream broke and immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ dear brethren in jesus christ we know that this is the age of holy spirit and holy spirit comes in us with his seven gifts as well as we know there are other some graces or we can say as gifts which they get from holy spirit when we pray like the gift of prophecy the gift of tongues etc and we cannot be sure that while seeing any gift of holy spirit that this person belongs to god or this person is doing everything which god wills but we can make it sure by seeing whether this man is producing the fruits of holy spirit the church teaches us there are 12 fruits of holy spirit love virginity etc so when we possess these fruits like patience love being kind to everyone then we we can surely say that that person is living with holy spirit so like a plant is judged with its fruit we are judged by the fruits of holy spirit not by the gifts of holy spirit let's specially pray to god to fill us with the fruits of holy spirit Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Are you Lord God of all creation? For to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we accept. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your to your divine Majesty. and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord holy father almighty and eternal god 
for just as through your beloved son you created the human race so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew and so it is right that all your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you therefore we to extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy holy holy, 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 holy lord, lord god, god of hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory hosanna in the highest bless the sea who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death alone and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and joseph our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be cohesed with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ you set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that you are faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish the into with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament. May so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. O Sacrament Most Holy. O, o sacrament, sacrament Divine. divine all praise and all thanksgiving. Be every moment, moment thine. O Sacrament, sacrament Most Holy. O Sacrament, sacrament divine, divine. All praise and all thanksgiving. Be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine.